Welcome to AWS What's New. I'm Jeff Barr. I've got three cool launches to share with you today. First up, we've updated the AWS Config Console. As you might know, this service helps you to assess, audit, and evaluate the configuration of your AWS resources. It's a really powerful tool for change management, troubleshooting, and security analysis. There's a new one-click setup option. It's based on AWS best practices for recording configuration changes, getting notifications, and delivering logs. This is a great way for you to learn and get started and to see AWS Config in action. Also, it's easier than ever before to track changes to your AWS resources over time and to monitor compliance to your rules and to conformance packs. You can access a rich set of advanced queries, and you can set up aggregators that centralize configuration info across accounts and regions. Finally, each resource now has timeline pages that show configuration changes and compliance. To learn more, read the what's new. Next, two powerful AWS services can now work together hand in glove. Amazon Simple Notification Service, SNS, can now deliver messages to Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose. You can set this up in the console with a couple of clicks with CLI, API, and CloudFormation support also available. I'm really confident you're gonna be able to come up with all sorts of interesting ways to use this. Here's some ideas to get you started. You can save a stream of SNS messages for auditing or backup, or you can route them to a Firehose subscription. From there, you can capture, transform, buffer, compress, and then upload that message stream to an AWS storage service, or you can send it to a third-party service provider, Splunk, Datadog, New Relic, or MongoDB. This is available in 22 AWS regions. To learn more, you can read the what's new. Check it out, let me know what you think. In database news, you can now do in-place upgrades on your Amazon Aurora clusters that are running MySQL 5.6. You don't need to do a backup or a restore. You just initiate a modify operation from the console, the CLI, or the API, and you specify it MySQL 5.7. You can apply the changes immediately or join the next maintenance window. MySQL 5.7 has a lot of interesting new features. JSON support, spatial indexes, and generated columns. Even cooler, Amazon Aurora has a native implementation of spatial indexes. They deliver more than 20 times better write performance and more than 10 times better read performance than MySQL for your spatial data sets. To learn more, you can read the what's new and also the MySQL 5.7 release notes. Before we go, I want to remind you that lots of video content from reInvent 2020 is now online. This includes all the keynotes and many of the breakout sessions with lots more on the way. Wherever you are in your learning journey, there's a video for you. So that's all for today. As always, we look forward to your feedback. You can send us an email, a tweet, or leave us a comment below. To see more videos just like this, subscribe to the channel, click that bell for notifications. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.